Hi Capricorn, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. As always, it is general, so it's not going to be for all of you, and the messages are going to be general. So if you want, you can watch one of your other signs, or you can go to personal reading to get more specific information. All that information is in the description box, and keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, all right, in general readings. All right, so let's see what is going on with Capricorn mid-May. What are the overall energies? Oh, okay. So, stuck and destruction. Okay, wow. So I'm glad to see that destruction card, actually, um, because that does suggest that whatever stuckness there has been, um, in a situation is now being destroyed. It might not be easy. This might feel like a tower moment. Um, if this is you, it could be, it could be a person that you're dealing with. Um, but it's ultimately going to be for the best because it is going to get somebody unstuck. All right. So very positive start to this reading. So let's see. Dear Cappies, so Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for mid-May 2021. So for your energy, we have the Hermit, the Seven of Cups, and the Six of Cups. All right, so you're in this energy of really going within, doing some deep soul searching. Um, it might feel a little bit confusing at times, and I feel like this might be because there is somebody here that you from your past that you feel very strongly for and that you might be thinking about, you might be missing this person. And even though you're trying to go within, possibly withdraw from this connection, um, you still feel that pull towards them or towards the past, which could be, it might even feel like it is distracting you. Or maybe somebody has come back from the past, which is distracting you from being able to continue on with some kind of inner work that you may have been trying to focus on. And it could even be that they're just coming back up in your mind, not necessarily um, in the 3D. So let's see for them. We have the Four of Swords, the Lovers, and the King of Pentacles. All right, so I feel like there is some kind of a break here, possibly between the two of you, or it feels like there is a little bit of things just not being very um, active at the moment. All right, I do feel like this person is recovering from something. Could be from this connection, it could be from something else in their lives. Um, but definitely, it does feel a little bit passive, but there's, it's also that this person is healing. All right, um, definitely a very, very strong connection here with a lot of, um, with a lot of love, all right, with the lovers also showing up as well. I do see that this person, like the more that they heal, the more stable they become in terms of what it is that they want when it comes to love or just becoming more stable within within a connection or, or even just in terms of how they, they view love and how they handle it. So let's see what is coming up. We have the Magician. The Page of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. All right, so maybe some of you might be dealing with um, an Earth sign here, possibly even um, a Gemini. Definitely let me know. And yeah, so what I see here for the near future, something is definitely being manifested. I feel like there's going to be some communication if you are not in communication, and this communication will revolve around. Um, the issue of stability, of commitment, or of a particular commitment. 
All right, so let's see the extra message for you here is the Queen of Cups. That's love. You know, there's definitely love here. Um, let's clarify. All right, so let's clarify the Hermit for your energy. Which does represent Virgo, so some of you might be dealing with a Virgo as well. All right, we have the Page of the Page of Wands. So yeah, it feels like you know you are. I'm gonna get one more, but it feels like you are really beginning to try to go within from a more enthusiastic um, place than from the past. Um, like you're excited about actually discovering yourself. Um, <clears throat> Or at least you're trying to get enthusiastic about doing some kind of inner work here, which might allow you to move to a more calmer state of being, to move away from conflict, possibly to move away from this connection, because I do feel like it is something that you you think about a lot and that it does that it does affect you. Let me see the seven of cups. Seven of Cups again and the Queen of Wands. So yeah, I mean this is a lot of your it feels like you're being distracted in some way. You're you're enthusiastic about doing this inner work, but there are some distractions. Um, possibly even I feel like a lot of these distractions you create them on your own. Um, some of them might be external, but I feel like for the most part, it has to do with, it has to do with you. And I feel like, again, like you, you are a little bit confused as to either how you can go about this or, you know, why you're feeling the way you're feeling about this person, something along those lines. Let me clarify the six of cups. Maybe this will clear up. Four of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you're, you're trying to emotionally detach from this person. Um, you're trying to move away from this connection, and it might be that you're, tr you're trying so hard to do that, that could even be what is distracting you if that makes any sense, because I feel like there's the sense of disappointment here as well with the Four of Cups, where like it's like the harder you try to um, to detach yourself, like the more disappointed you get or the more, you know, discontent you feel. Maybe for some of you, there's a, there's a part of you that doesn't really want to detach from this. You don't really want to leave it behind. Um, so that might also be something that's holding you back subconsciously. Um, but what I'm getting here is that you really don't need to try too hard. You don't need to try too hard, you know, like just let it happen a little bit more naturally. That doesn't mean to not move on with your life and to stay stuck with this person. No, you know, keep doing your inner work. Just keep focusing. If you get distracted, you get distracted. So what? If you get distracted by this person coming back or calling you or, you know, whatever the case, you know, let it be what it is. Let it be what it is and then just continue on. Go back to that without... Um, without pressuring yourself. All right, I mean, sometimes the best, if you, because I don't know in the end if you're going to move on from this or not or what's going to happen because I do see a very um, beautiful ending here in the, in the near future and we also do have the Queen of Cups. So I'm not sure, you know, to what extent this is going to go, but, Sometimes even fully recovering, you know, from a connection or from a, from a relationship that happens when you're just working on yourself on certain things and then that can kind of happen naturally along the process. It doesn't mean to ignore it. Yes, you do have to process the pain. Yes, you do have to process your emotions. You cannot deny them. I'm not saying that, but don't force it either. 
just keep focusing on you know anything that helps you to heal <clears throat> let's see for them let's see the four of swords the four of wands and the ace of wands All right, so this person is healing from something, from a particular connection. I'm not sure if this is your connection or an, another connection possibly, maybe from the past. Um, I do mostly feel like it is, it has to do with your connection as well. There's something here that needs to be healed um, <clears throat> on their end, which is related to the connection with you. And I feel like they're doing this because deep down they also would want um, to reconnect with you all right with that ace of wands they would want a new beginning they want to come back together in a way that is going to be um healed and in a way that is going to feel like your your um your connection is stronger than it was before but it's just that at the moment it might be that they're a little bit um <clears throat> passive as they process this let me see the lovers King of Cups and the Six of Wands. What can I say? There's a lot of love here. There is a lot of love here from um, this person's end towards you. This is somebody who does want to um, have a successful resolution to whatever it is that's going on in your situation. I'm not, I'm not seeing where the stuckness is. Actually, I do feel like you might feel like you're stuck in this and you're trying to move away from this connection and you can't. But for some of you, it could definitely be that your person is stuck um, in a particular situation as well. All right. Um, so take it as it resonates. Also, the roles can be reversed. But what I do see here is this person really wanting to have a successful um, relationship with you that is going to be very, very loving, um, very strong, very powerful. They want this, plain and simple. They want it to be stable, all right, with that King of Pentacles. And the lover's showing up again. Like, what else can I say? <laughs> you know, it's like, Spirit's like, that's the message here. This person wants this with you. End of story. I don't know what the problem might be on their end, um, what it is that they are healing here. But other than that, I feel like what's being stressed, so it could be what you need to hear, is that there is love here. All right, in case you were you were um, doubting that. There is, there is love, and this person does want to make this work. Let's see what is coming up. Let's see the magician. The Ten of Wands and the Four of Swords showing up again. So there's still more healing that is happening. I feel like somebody is releasing a burden here. Um, something that has, you know... Um, felt very very heavy and just you know like it's like carrying something for a very long time is the way it's coming through there is some healing and an end to that that is being manifested here coming up and i do feel like you know this is um i feel like it's the both of you actually let's see the page of cups Feels like somebody was just feeling has or has been feeling very overloaded maybe even with some responsibilities which could have been also um part of the barrier part of the stuckness here and i feel like that is being released that is being healed there's a new way of seeing that so all right clarifying the page of cups we have temperance which again is about healing so like i said there, there's just a lot of healing here there's a lot of healing here and i feel like that healing is going to help the emotions to be more open from both sides in this um, connection for whatever it is that you want, all right? Because I do see you trying to move away from a connection here. I don't know, for some of you, it could be that there is a third party somewhere in the mix here, you would know. But I do see that emotions are opening up um, and I do see a very, um, I feel it's going to be like a very calm, 
conversation that is coming up or a discussion that is going to be open. It's going to feel very balanced and it's going to be like one of those conversations where you feel like it was divinely guided. Like, you know, just saying all of the right things. Everybody just being open. Everybody being very genuine. All right. And when I say everybody, of course, it could just be you and one, just one, <laughs> one other person. All right. So let's see the Ten of Pentacles. Right, the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. That's interesting. Okay, so yeah, this conversation is being manifested. It is being had as well as, you know, a releasing of some, some weight that has been carried in this relationship, I feel, is being healed. All right, or from, from somebody's side here really finding the solutions to how to handle that. Um, this can potentially lead to this Ten of Pentacles here, all right, to there being some stability um, and commitment between two people. But having the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords, I'm seeing this a little bit as a precaution. You know that there might be some fears, there might still be something that is unresolved when it comes to how to make certain things work. And what I'm getting here is, you know, don't don't try to avoid that. Don't try to avoid the whatever those fears are. You know, everything has to be out in the open in order for there to be um, effective and efficient communication for things to have, you know, that chance of really working out here. Because I do see this person really wanting this. All right. So if you are the one who is feeling these fears, you know, I get here, be, you will have this opportunity to be open about it. And I feel like the more open you are concerning how you truly feel, the more healing that will happen and the more balanced the situation can be. All right, um, because again, just gonna say this one more time, there's a lot of love here. All right, and I feel like you, this is also a message for you to trust your intuition, trust what you feel deep down inside about about this connection or about what is going on here. All right, Capricorn. I just got one more message that for some of you, if this is a person that you really feel like, you know what, you're done with and there is no possible way of, you know, you communicating with this person or having this conversation, Take this message as if it's a conversation with yourself. It could be you being honest with your own self about your feelings so that you don't pressure yourself too hard when it comes to moving away um, from this conflict, all right? But I don't know, because I, I see this person really, really trying to heal here though. So I don't know, it's gonna be up to you. So final message for Capricorn, and we have expansion. Spread your wings and soar. Share your message and shine your light. Show the world what you're made of. Yeah, share your message and shine your light. You know, don't hold back, you know, allow yourself to open up, expand, especially when it comes to your emotions, you know, feel them to the fullest, allow yourself to do that. And you know, if there's a conversation, there's nothing wrong with being honest. So that's what I got for you, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching and much love.